fast forward from, okay, so you started the Naval Academy, you're doing track, you were walking on to congrats, you obviously did, did, did well, and then you graduate from the Naval Academy. Yeah. What happens after graduation for some people that don't know? Yeah, so I, I graduated May 2001. You know, President Bush was honored to be our commencement speaker that year. So um, I got to shake his hand and he handed, you know, the diploma and everything. So that was a, a, a memorable experience. And so, you know, if if you recall, you know, timeline wise, you know, May 2001, peacetime. And then shortly thereafter, September 11th, 2001, you know, that changed everything, yeah. right? So uh, it was it was very impactful. You know, a, a lot of the my classmates who were just expecting to go into, you know, go for, generally speaking, a peacetime environment, yeah. you know, it, it changed us drastically. And and a lot of us would have to go in 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 harm's way right away. Right. Right. Yeah. So and, and, and you served overseas. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So. Um, I, I was a supply officer, so I was in logistics and supply chain management for the Navy. Um, I didn't know that I'd end up in logistics real estate, but it just worked out that way. Um, so I was on a ship for uh, three years, mm. and I did two deployments during that time to the Persian Gulf. Wow. Uh, I served, um, as, you know, as, as I mentioned, as a supply officer. And uh, three out of the six years total that I was in there, I was... I was I was on the USS Way City, which is a cruiser. Okay. Um, and, you know, just uh, for, for context, you know, I don't know if anyone in the audience has seen uh, Top Gun 2, but towards the, the end of the movie, the climactic scene when all those uh, ships fired off the, the Tomahawk cruise missiles into the uh, air base, that was a cruiser or, or likely a destroyer. So it was very similar to the ship that I was on. So, awesome. Um, awesome. Yeah, so it was a, a lot of... A lot of fun, you know, get to, getting to travel and, and seeing a lot of the world and, and really understanding um, how how people, you know, work and, and learning how to interact with many different cultures and yeah. ages and socioeconomic backgrounds. And so, so that was really a, an eye-opening experience for me. I mean, I... I think it's one of the good things about the military is that, you know, and it, you know, a kind of a lesson for, for everybody is like, yeah. you know, you, you think you're, you don't have a lot in common with people that may not look like you, but when you drill down to it, there, you, you end up having a lot in common. You know, I, I, I've made, you know, lifelong friends that I still talk to today that, you know, probably out in the real world, we may have not um, connected or our paths may not have crossed, but in the military when you're going through you know, difficult times or going through challenging times together, you know, you, you end up learning a lot about the person next to you and, you know, and, and hopefully it's uh, good stuff and you, you know, you remain friends like, like, like I did with, with many of my, um, sailors that I, I, I work with. That's awesome. Jay. Well, yeah. Salute to you too, brother. Thank you so much for your service. We really do appreciate yeah, everything you. you've done for this country.